Hello, I am Gep, and welcome back to Factory Town. Last episode, we were getting set up for Earth Magic because Earth Magic is now the only way to make your mind resources regenerate. In which case, we would, you know, run out of mind resources rather quickly if we didn't do that. I do think that there is something to be said for that, though, because the the, the resource regeneration in this game means that you're never really forced to expand based on resource depletion, which is an interesting way to go. It does force you to kind of work, or, like, it, alter the environment a lot more through, like, you know, the tools. Go, like, I want this rock patch gone, so instead of mining it out, you have to just get rid of it because, you know, your other rock patch is being constantly regenerated. So that's, that's an interesting part of it, but I don't know. I don't know, uh, I don't know how I feel about that, to be honest. I need to think on it a bit more. It's just a different system that I'm generally used to. I have not been particularly looking forward to this episode, which is why I waited too long to record it, and now I have to kind of, uh, rush a little bit more than I want. Eh, and the reason I haven't been looking forward to it is because I need to set up a couple little things here that I kind of forgot about where I need mana crystals to make this thing function, and we need to hook this up to mana power, which is which is new. We didn't have to do that with stuff before. We didn't have to hook it up to mana power. Hmm, so we need I don't I don't know if I have enough junk here. We're gonna need a lot more rechargers. We're gonna need several rechargers for this. So we need the transmitter and receiver. We need the mana transmitter and the mana receiver. We can plop down the transmitter and we can just have that, you know. We're just bringing normal old mana, boring old mana into there. And that's going to go into there and that's going to make earth shards because we have earth ore and we're going to make earth shards and this is going to turn the earth shards into earth crystals which we're going to send into a packer somewhere. Okay, I can flip that around. I can flip that around, so maybe I'll put a pack, just have it go straight into a packer over here somewhere, and then the packer can go someplace. Hmm. I don't know. Well, I'll send it straight into the packer, maybe? I don't know. I don't know, because I need it to be farther up so that we can, you know, have it at a level where our train isn't going to hit much, because we're going to need to take it over to a central storage area, which may be over here somewhere. We'll just make a central kind of magic stone storage area because we also need to bring magic stones over to the school if we want to be able to use them for anything because we need that we need the earth mastery so we're going to need to send them over there for the research and that's that all right this thing has filled up and then we're going to need the Oh yeah, because the Earth, Water, and Fire Shrines are what we need to unlock with Fire Mastery, Water Mastery, Earth Mastery, Wind Shrines are not in the game yet. And then we're going to need to use all of that to make a, to use the Mana Reactor to create Omni Stones. So that's the basic plan. That's the basic idea. Alright, and then we can have the... Where can I actually get stuff up this hill? <laughs> Because I built this silo on a hill, and now I need to be able to get stuff up to it. Alright, so I need to get rid of this one tree. We need to get rid of this one tree. I should probably hotkey this, this removal tool. It's going to be necessary. Get rid of a couple trees. It's against my nature. It goes against the very nature of my being to have to get rid of the trees. Okay, now then, this goes back here. And then we need one over here, and we need a silo. Hmm. I feel like that's going to be too short, but we will figure that out. I guess we've got a little bit of room if we build up. If I build up a little bit on there, if we rise up. Uh, where? Do I, okay, rechargers. We need a couple of those. Bop, bop. And let's do... 
I can never decide if I want to do sorters or pushers. The thing is, if I want them to work perfectly in parallel... Hmm. We're gonna need a, like, actual system. So I should do pushers for now. We'll figure out how to use an item. We'll figure out how to logic it into sorting more perfectly later. Because that's something we're gonna need to figure out. And then we do the mana receiver, and that just goes into the silo there. All that should work out okay. That one will fill up, that one will fill up, that'll fill up, that'll fill up. I mean, they'll all fill up very quickly, so. And that's one. Uh, the other thing that I wouldn't mind doing, I guess, just for somewhat the sake of efficiency, is to also have this go back this way. And we'll, we'll put it down by one more. Actually, you know what? There we go. So we can put more of these in, and then if it goes through all of them, it comes back and goes into the first one again. So it's not just waiting in a line for this last one if it fills up. Yeah, that's that's something that can probably work. All right, this has 20, almost 20, almost 40 in it. And we should have enough mana pipes, so it's time to make mana happen. All right, this thing needs to go into that that way and come out of it this way, just go into a bit of a circle. Oh, darn. Can't afford it because they are so expensive. I need something that makes a lot of normal gold. I need to make a lot of just normal freaking gold. I feel like the food market is not like... Some of these buggers aren't buying... You know, aren't buying consumables fast enough for me here. I don't know why exactly. Now, I hate doing this. I really, really hate doing this. I wanted to make the neighborhood look pretty. Oh well. Needs must. Needs must. Happens. Alright, let's upgrade these guys. So they can buy more stuff. Come on. Come on, 200. This is what I mean. <laughs> this is why I need these houses to be upgraded, because they need to buy... I need more houses buying more things. I don't think it's a supply issue, necessarily. I don't think it's necessarily a supply issue. But I suppose over here we could uh, probably increase our production throughput a little bit here. How's that doing? That seems to be filling this belt up a bit more, maybe? Eh. Anything? Maybe. Hmm. I just want to get a slightly more constant flow of grain coming out of these buildings. And I did just add a couple more houses. So that might be something to consider. See, because then this would, uh, this pasture would be able to make faster. This grain mill would be able to output a little bit, just a touch faster, which would let the bread come out just a touch faster. So right now we're not selling very much of this at all. Yeah, basically none, in fact. Uh, and it's really slowing down our gold production. This is our main gold production right now. I didn't think normal gold would be such a problem for us. But it has been. It has been a bit of an issue. Come on. Let's up that. Maybe let's take this splitter off for the minute. See how that does. Uh, that seems to be outputting about as fast as that belt will go. What's that doing for our animal feed? Anything in particular? 
Yeah, it's making our milk produce a little better. And now the grain's the problem, but that's okay. Seems to be working out. Let's just let those go. For the minute, we've got up to our 500. And we do seem to have increased our gold production slightly, so. That's a good sign. That's a good sign, at least. All right, uh, back to pipes, back to mana pipes. Now then, come over here. Those will go through and recharge. That seems to probably be enough. So we can uh, turn off this cart as soon as it makes this delivery. How's the silo? The silo is not full, but there's still 10 waiting in line. So we seem to be doing okay. Whoops, nope, nope, nope. Please drop, finish dropping your stuff. I didn't mean to click you off of your path. Didn't mean to take you off of your path. This mana stuff is going away in the next update, probably. <laughs> There's a bunch of uh, graphical improvements coming soon that will be pretty cool. They'll be pretty cool. This seems to be working out okay. Yeah, I think that's going. And this is backed up now, so this is going to back up again. And now the next thing that we needed was more... More... Mine carts. Not mine carts, mining carts. I need a couple of mine drills. Stop that. Uh, that's not going to work. This one needs to be over here. This one needs to be over here. There we go. And now then, we need my good old friend metal conveyor belt. Oh, wonderful. Metal conveyor belt can go down here nicely. Just like we wanted. That means we can put a silo down here by the coal. And that will be lovely. Silo. Ugh, this gets so complicated. This is gonna be a major bottleneck on our magic. I need to see how quickly this thing operates. Now you put in those shards. Then we need to build it up a little bit so that we can go across the mana fields. Across the mana fields. Come on. Go across the mana fields, please. Mana banana fields. Those air, air crystals. They're now mana banana. Mana bananas. Where? Come on, build, 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 build. Sheesh. So hard to get these ramps to build down. That's something I would really love, is the ability to kind of Click it and drag a ramp and it will fill in the associated necessary blocks below. That's something I might request. Hmm. Uh, let's get a look at this, see where we need this to end up. I think somewhere right around there. I think right there and then we have a block there and a ramp there. Yep, I was right. Okay, well done. Now, here's the thing. Oh, that is floating. Yeah, the Earth Temple is floating. I did think that was a little bit odd, you know, thinking about it. People were asking why the Earth Temple was sitting in the water, and I was like, you know what? That is weird. That is weird. It probably shouldn't be sitting in the water like that. Also, I built this whole thing in the wrong place. And 
There we go. Now we're cooking. Now we're cooking with scaffolds. Alright, it's worked. I don't care. Alright, it's functioning. It's all that matters. Very literally. Over here. There we go. Oh, right. Um, I didn't think about some of this. Dang it. Alright. I'm glad that I had a uh, extra bit of space there. See, we couldn't... We had to bring the ramp over here. There we go. Now it will work. This is the thing. Uh, building these scaffolds is unnecessarily painful because of the way the ramp connections work on uh, on ramps. Ramp connections work on ramps. Belt? The way the belt connections work on ramps. Is that what I said? I honestly can't remember now. Honestly cannot remember if those were the words I used. <laughs> okay. How are we doing? Ten. Mm. Ten seconds to make these. The only thing I can do to increase it is make people happier. Well, we did make people a little bit happier, so I suppose there's that. Now then, let's at least... Let's see, here's a relatively flat place. Suppose I shouldn't worry too much. Let's bring this over into a silo to start with. All right, give me a barn. Give me a barn. Come on, thing. Just give, give me the barn. Should have enough to start with. There we go. Now just bring this over. There we are. Thank you. Now we're filling up this barn. Okay, these things are the limiting factors. They are going a bit slow. Uh, I've got 2,000 gold now. I might have fixed a little bit of our issues. Pipes. Pipes is what I need. Steam pipes. We actually have steam... <sighs> Come on. Steam pipe. What is going? Why are you not connecting? There. Dumb thing. Ugh. Now how's it doing? 360%. Should be going faster than once a minute at least. What about you? How are you doing? We are once every 10 seconds and this is once every 10 seconds so that should be working out. This thing also is supposed to be once every 10 seconds, so I don't know why it didn't all line up perfectly. It needs one every 10 seconds. Oh, because it needs four of these and two of those, that's why. This has to be going twice as fast. No wonder. Hmm. Well, if it's that kind of time problem, then we have to make another one. And we need to just split up stuff. Of course. I can't ever, cannot record at night. Can't record during the day. There's always gonna be some kind of cop car going by. It's a traffic accident earlier. That was interesting. Didn't interfere with my recordings which is definitely not the important thing about a traffic accident. It looks like no one was injured, and that's the very important thing. But yeah, very uh, life in the big city kind of, kind of stuff going on. All right, these should be able to hook up okay. Alright, silo. You, um, go to the silo now. Come on. 
You give... You, you belong to the silo now. Go. Dang thing. Alright, that goes over here, and this goes eh, over there. And then we just combine the two like this. And of course we are uh, at max population already. Pipes. Steam connector. There we go. So, they're still both at 100% steam power. Nice. Oh, that one's uh, output is blocked. There we go. That is a much more constant flow. That should be pumping these out at a better rate now. Oh, of course this thing is the problem now. Yeah, why wouldn't it be? Why wouldn't it be? Is it a power issue? No, the power is consistent. It is a timing issue. Does this make two at once? Oh, interesting. I guess I just had a backup and this was unnecessary? Yeah, it seems like. All right, well, at least I can try to connect it to the steam power again. Boop. Everything's connected to the steam power. So this thing making to it at the same time should work out okay. Except I need more housing, or at least I need to finish upgrading this housing. There you go. Hopefully you can be happier now. This one we just need to work better. Okay, just about as fast as it can make them. That's not bad. That's not bad since we can't really alter that at all. And now this thing's filling up with crystals. And I still need it to be a little more centralized. So, let's set up a thing. Let's set up a thing somewhere easy to get to. What's the easiest thing to get to around here where I can set up some, some barns? Hmm, very not sure. What's holding up the cake? Still the, uh, still the jam, which is still being held up by the fertilizer. I would not have thought the fertilizer would be the most difficult part of this equation. I really kind of wish there was some, uh, really wish there was some coal around. <laughs> Maybe I should build a quick forester over here, you know? What? Oh, right. I need more houses. Again. Ugh. I hate that this is how you have to build houses. Like, it's basically a necessity. I, I cannot get around it, and it's ruining things for me a little bit. It's, the houses aren't the bit I care about, but I'm never, ever going to be able to make something that looks good. Well, not on this map, anyway. I gave myself hills to deal with as well, so. Verticality. I wanted the verticality. I thought it'd be fun. And it is pretty interesting to deal with, so at least there's that. At least there's that, but yeah, it's not gonna be pretty, apparently. Not gonna be pretty, apparently. Yeah, you do that. You do you, and uh, what is it that I was looking for? Tree planters, there we go. Yeah, get all those trees. Or a lot of those trees, I don't know how tree planting works. Now then. <sighs> nope. I want you to go up. 
this way. Ugh. Uh, not that far, actually. Don't need to go up that far. Now we can go straight over because you're just going over this little rampy thing here. Uh, one more, I believe. Nope, one more past that. Now you can come this way. Now it can come this way and it can supplement the burning things on this house. Because apparently our ability to burn stuff is the limiting factor. And when you don't got coal, your newest renewable energy source, wood, which is like coal, but millions of years younger. Unless you're dealing with just charcoal and not mined coal, but we are obviously dealing with mined coal. Oh, come on. Mm. What now? I hate you. You can definitely receive a fuel source. Okay? Have you figured that out? This is something that you can receive and use as a fuel source. Thank you. Oh my god. Oh, I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. Hate you. Hate you so much. The jam is still the limiting factor here, but eh. We're making way more blue way more purple coins than anything else. Okay, where do I want these barns? Where do I want these frickin' barns? I'm gonna need space for four barns. It's not gonna get too much in the way. Suppose I still have this big empty space here that we've been clearing resources out of. So let's just finish doing that. All right, remove all this. Give me just one, two, three. You are kidding. All right, get rid of this, get rid of this. Get rid of this, this is ridiculous. This is still ridiculous. Uh, pathway, why can't I build on top of a pathway? There's one thing pathways should definitely not be doing, it's getting in my freaking way. Get in my freaking way, all right, filter. We'll figure this out, but you are going to be the earth barn, you're gonna be the fire barn. You're gonna be the, you are going to be the water barn. And you on the end, you're gonna be the air barn because you're kind of useless. All right, which means we're gonna have to build our mana extractor thing like right over here in the middle of this lake, which would be kind of cool, right? Because this would be water cooled. Haha, -ha, pun, pun. I'm annoyed. I am like really annoyed right now. I'm really annoyed at this game. No, it hasn't done anything wrong, so I'm sorry. I'm sorry, game. If you haven't done anything wrong, it's me. I'm in the weird mood. I'm in the weird mood. I'm a little tired. Things keep being... Uh, every now and then, like, the indie games, the indie games, like, the pre-make games, you know, the... the This game has... This game not yet rated early access stuff. The UI and the, like, clunky controls can start to get to me. It's one of the reasons I've just been kind of very casually playing through uh, this on, like, been very casually just going through this. All right, this goes over here. All right, this here is going to be a packer. <laughs> okay, this thing is like, really slow. This is not getting enough stuff. Not even remotely. Mm. 
That's too bad. It's not getting enough junk. Yeah, this thing is completely backed up and this is still not getting enough stuff. All right then. Move resources. This should be pretty easy. Nope. Of course it's not going to be pretty easy. Of course it's not going to be pretty easy. Why would it be pretty easy? There we go. That goes here. Come on. This goes here. This thing making earth shards. I want it to output to this little flat bit. Come on, really? There we go. Output to this little flat bit and then the input can just be up here because why wouldn't it be? Be on the right level. On. There. We're bringing in a ton of shards. Like, we're bringing in a freaking ton of, uh, of stuff here with the packer. It's pretty cool. Look at it go. There we are. Now we're doing something. All right. Uh, I need pipes again. Pipes. Mana pipes. Now you can apply logic to mana pipes. It's not immediately obvious. So if I give this one a splitter and then go to the mana pipes and go boop, 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 and then bring that over here. Now it will split. I, the backup's okay in this instance. I've seen some kind of cool ways to deal with, uh, with mana backups, but this is just normal white mana. So, eh, white man, uh. What does Tumblr sound like? White man, uh. <laughs> Say this is a proud member of the Tumblr. <laughs> I like my Tumblr. I don't use it as much as I should. I don't use it as much as I should. Now then, this is recharging as fast as it needs to for this. What's happening? Yes, stop it. Stop, 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 stop. Jeez. It's very much not obvious when you're at the right level for stuff. And still not obvious. There we are. That's just because of a backup they'll even out again soon. I just want both of these to be a teeny bit backed up so we can move through this as quickly as possible. All right, now then, Packer. Yes, please, this is a pack into the crate. There we go. This is going to pack some things into crates. Excellent. Now then, uh, rails. Actually, I liked having the uh, silo over here for loading the train. That was kind of fun touch. Now this should be able to be above most of the impediments here. The train line's gonna move over here, it's gonna unpack like here and it's going to have a thing that goes down to this. That's how it's going to work. 
as compact of a down elevator as I can manage. So, off we go. Come on. Please work, just work. I'm just trying to make this be flat, all right? I'm just trying to make this train line as flat as I can. That's not gonna go over this, is it? Oh, it is, cool. Fine with me, and it's going randomly between these buildings. Fine, we're going around. The entire point of this is to avoid elevation change. Avoid elevation change for the minecarts. Please come here. Jeez. Didn't let go of shift quickly enough there. Come on. Come on, it's so difficult. This is already way further away than I wanted to put literally anything. Stop being so problemsome. Stop being so problematic. Come on. Stop it. Stop being an issue for me. There, we've blocked out the sun on crops. Blocked out the sun. Now, give me this unpacker. <laughs> All right, unpack from crate. Now I need a freaking silo. There's gotta be one here, right? I use these things all the time. They're the perfect little buffers. Except I've wanted you uh, here, not there. Thank you. That goes here. This goes over by two, and then we go back. Then we go back, and then we build the little elevator thing that goes over there. Arguably, I should have tried to get it to be closer, but what are you going to do? And one, maintain the two gap. There we go. I'm maintaining a gap because it makes it way easier for me to lay the rails. Same thing as last episode. Same thing again. Again, again. Uh, come on. I can tell I'm depressed again. There's something. Just not feeling the energy right now. Energy. It's out the window. It's gone. It's all away. Eh. I eh, haven't really been commentating as well as I was last time. And it's really annoying when you have it. You know, when you had it. And you're like, oh, I feel like I haven't been doing stuff as well as normal. And then all of a sudden you get it back. And you are doing it as well as you remember. And then, boop, next time it's gone. And it's very, that's very annoying to me. There we go. There we are. Eh, part of me is upset because I've been drawing in a, a few people that I thought I wouldn't have to deal with comments from anymore recently. Nah, just immediately decided I'm not dealing with that. Too old for this. I am freaking just deleting comments and blocking people now because why not? If <laughs> people are like just here to be angry, like and weird at me, that I do not have time for that. Don't have time for that. Why should I? Now I'm going to put a couple of things here because I want to be able to use that same logic setup that I'm using over here. 
which only needs two. But it's still nice to be able to have that extra little thing there. Come on. Yeah, block there. You block one past where it's going to be. And block there. Then I just need a inventory sensor and a math block. Both of which are pretty easy. This is filling up? Yeah, good. That's filling up. Okay. Inventory sensor. Math block. Wish I could copy values. This one is going to be equal to 20. Equals 20. There we go. And then connect to that. This is going to be offset by one. Then, come on. That's going to connect there. Over here, same thing. Math block. Easy enough to grab an inventory sensor. Math block inventory sensor. I'm not sure what to sense is the thing with the inventory sensor. Like, I would set a filter just uh, for the sake of completeness. I honestly have no idea what I need to filter. Do I need to filter crates? Do I need to filter mana crystals? What do I actually, like, tell it to look for? Then go to the black barrier gate. There we go. Still going. This is now working as fast as it physically can. Works fine for me. Wish I could get another one of these. Or up at speed somehow. But that's the only one you get. And it's in the place you get it. It right now is, in fact, the only thing that limits your ability to build stuff wherever you feel like it. There we are. Now then, this here. This is going to go into that storage silo. This here is our Earth one. I said to go away. Said to send that one away. Okay. I, in theory, should be able to do something with this. So I want it to go in there. And it has to go there, there, there there, there, and like this. And the only thing I'm not sure about So this works this far. But I suppose if I build this here, that's going to block, isn't it? Ah, oh, it's gonna block something, isn't it? Mm. 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 I need to test that. I 
I need to test this. Okay, uh, you there. He's grabbing wood. Put the wood on that. Oh, for frick's sake. You, just drop your stupid thing on there. What do you mean you cannot navigate? I hate you! It's a quick in-game test. It should not be like this. Does it block it? It doesn't. Okay. Well done. It doesn't block that. Grab one. Go over here. Okay. That has worked. Eh. Need to remove that for the move tool. Ugh, there we are. Okay, get rid of this little test rig. We've done it. Also, that can go away. Also, I hate you. This is our elevator. And this is going to be the standard elevator design, which makes me wish I could copy paste so bad. <laughs> because we're just literally doing this the entire way up. Yeah, one. I'm very glad that I hotkeyed all of these or this would be interminable. What did you do? Oh my god. Okay. Um, I don't usually do this in this series, but we are, we are skipping this. There we go. Also, apparently I can upgrade this. So... Hooray! <laughs> We've upgraded things again. Wow, I need to get rid of this. All of that. All that needs to go. Yeah, all of this needs to go away. I need to, like, make a storage system that is everything. And where's it going to be? Because that actually isn't too going to be too hard aside from a space for the storage system. What if we just built on this big flat lake here? And we had stuff on either side. And then we just went around, we put filters on, like filter filter grabbers, filter pushers, and we could just put the... Can you filter a train station? That's a question. Rail stop, active, input. So you can't, but we can do it with them. Um, we can make the trains uh, sort. We can sort train cars with filters. Okay, so this here should elevator. Now, if I ever want this thing to be a magic system, ooh, that's gonna be bad. All right, there it goes. See it go around, see it go around, see it go around. Keep going around, spin, 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 spin. Don't give daddy a heart attack. Oh my. Oh no. Okay. Right there. Oh, hoo, hoo, hoo. There we go. Ooh. Good. I might actually be able to upgrade this freaking thing at some point. Look at that. Silky smooth. We've done it. Oh, elevator. Look at that thing. The great glass wonkivator. Wonderful. All right. Now we just need a freaking... Uh, Uh, 
There we go. And over here. And over here. And click and click. And we just need to come on. Get a little bit of height. I think that's right. It's hard to see. No, that was not right. There we go, just one. Okay. Um is a question. So each of these takes one, right? Each of these takes one. I need to make a hundred. Here's what we're gonna do really quick. Here's what we're gonna do really quick. Pause the game. Okay. Uh, Live systems. Grapper goes there. That should work even though it's on there, I hope. You know what, I'm nervous about it, so instead logic systems blocker. That'll make it so. So if I turn this on, it doesn't work. Stop that. Right? Why doesn't the blocker work? Why doesn't the blocker work? Why doesn't the freaking blocker work? Fine, you know what? I'm committed to this. It already has failed because that doesn't work the way it should be, but here. Okay. Doesn't the frickin' blocker work? Nothing works on ramps. This is the thing that we need to know. Nothing works on ramps. Okay. So. Here's what we're gonna do. Here's what we're gonna do. We're going to computer. Agent trigger. Uh, no. What am I looking for? I'm looking for, I'm looking for inventory sensor. Math number, counter, pusher. I think I need inventory sensor. Inventory sensor offset to there. Because an agent trigger turns on or off depending on if something's in it. That's not exactly what we want. Then we need a counter. And then we need a math block. Add less than 100. That should control this thing. This counter should get a signal every time that goes through. Let's see. No, this is not the right thing. This is stupid because I like. Oh, dang it. Movement block. Movement. Movement. There we go. Ah, I'm already wasting wasting things, which is like what I wanted to avoid. But I know there's a way to do this. Okay, what's the thing I needed? It might be an agent trigger. Offset to there, then, then hit the counter. What the heck? I know there's a way to count things going through the belts. It's not going. I'm very committed to this now, apparently. What in the world am I looking for? Curve filter. Logic pusher, counter, number, math, agent, 
Nothing is giving me a description anymore. I was pretty sure it was an agent trigger. Enter. Let's see, item filter. For a counter block. Yeah, is it just not it's it's triggering on the right thing. It's so weird. Maybe there was something that I should be able to do. Oh well. We'll just have to move the things out of that later once it's done, because we can it's not a waste, we can get them off the belt and we'll go back into there. There we go. Now the stupid thing's going in. That's stupid. I was going to count out 100 and make it stop after 100. I know. I know there's a way to count stuff on belts. What was that? I thought it was the agent trigger or the inventory sensor. Either of those should have probably worked. I've done this before. <laughs> I've done this before and nothing was working. It's probably a bug. That's probably some kind of bug. Hmm. Weird. Oh well. This thing's researching and it'll research very quickly because of how many books we've pumped into this thing. We've got a lot of magic books in the hole here. Well, it only takes 40. Um, just as a stopgap. Come on, just come over here, please. You're on the same level, thank you. We're gonna have to fill this thing up with a few earth crystals. So I would, uh, kind of appreciate that we can put them back in here. There we go. Now, filter the frickin' earth crystals. There we go. That's emptying that out. I don't want to fill up slots in this thing. Don't want to fill up slots in your inventory. There we go. How's this doing? Alright, the silo's filling up. The packer's not full yet. This thing's still waiting like it should be. Good. Glad of that. And... Yep, that's about it. That's all we're doing. We can do for now. We can up our happiness. We need to up our happiness. That's all we can do. Well, I hope that you have enjoyed. If you did, my name is Gepun. This is Factory Town coming out next month. Actually, I need to work on a thing. I need to work on a thing about that. This game's coming out of coming out into early access on Steam in early March. So that's a nice one. That's a nice one for all y'all to look forward to my, you know, southwest coming out there. Now all y'all subscribe and all y'all hit the like button and notification bell. Also, you can follow me on Twitter, <laughs> uh, talk to me in the Discord, and you can listen to my podcast, watchesoftomorrow.com. That's not the name of the podcast, that's the website. You know this. These are things you know. Also, as you also know, Everything's in the description. Yeah, thank you very much for watching. My name's Gepin. I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.